if you are new here, I'm Kaniti, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back! Today I'm going to watch part 2 of Luffy vs. Katakuri. It's an hour long video, so then it's at least 2 hour long fight, that's pretty crazy. Let's see this, let's go! Alright! Uh, yeah, I already saw this moment in the end of the first part, like showing how much Sanji believes in Luffy, how much he trusts Luffy. That is very so sweet. And it's also sweet that Pudding is worried about his captain. It's like foreshadowing, that, that's pretty cool. Oh, and the music is so uplifting, man. I'm happy I decided to watch the second part straight away. Wait, oh, only a little, after a little Miranda. Am I pronouncing it right, though? It's my turn to say, this is it. Oh. His resolution to win is very admirable, right? And uh, Katakuri already stated that he isn't underestimating Luffy and he has a lot of respect to Luffy already and Luffy at the same time already knows about how Katakuri uses his observations, so that is super cool. about Lime Mochi. Yeah, but at this point uh, Luffy uses his bounce man form. I completely forgot about uh, in the previous um, part reaction. I messed it up with another form. Uh, never going to outlive this shame. Rainfall Mochi. Oh wow. So now yeah, he is in a bounce man form and it is gear 4. Mm, yeah, his body looks like a balloon. I love his trying so hard with the new attacks, um, but <laughs> Katsurakuri likes to repeat the same ones a lot. Oh, the sound of him jumping is pretty fun. Yeah, I remember this dialogue. No, oh, it's nice that he's thinking. Uh, phew, he's. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> he's thinking like, yeah. Now I know I can beat this opponent. I can beat Katakuri. So basically, yeah, first Katakuri showed his weak side, like he lost his cool, so Luffy was able to attack him. And now Luffy's weak point is that he has to rest for a bit before he can use uh, Haki in this way again, because before he can use his gear. Uh, so, of course, Katakuri is going to try and use this. Oh, he's getting tired from running away. What the heck? <laughs> oh, fateful meeting! Oh, his face! <laughs> My little 
sister is screaming. Oh no, I have to protect her. Oh, you just destroyed it, you silly potato. Oh, I love this expression. You can see how worried he is about Brulee. That's sweet. Damn, Luffy really got lucky with this meeting. <laughs> That's very important. The more you face tough enemies, the stronger you will become. That's like you grow stronger in battle. So now he's thinking, can I do the same as Katakuri? Can I use the same power and also see a little bit into the future? Like copy this ability from him. Uh, that's a very good way of thinking. Oh, man. Oh, he looks so epic. Oh, uh, that's also interesting. Like, I want to defeat him at full strength. So, like, meaning I want to defeat him while he is at his full strength. Like, I want it to be a fair fight. Ah, Katakuri is waiting for Luffy to come back. That's so cute. Oh, come on, where he is? If he promised to fight till the end. Um, yeah, maybe he ran away to his crew. Oh, he's like, I know, he's coming back. <laughs> you can't help but, you know, sympathize and like Katakuri. Um, that's what makes him such a wonderful character. He's really like invested in this fight with Luffy now. You could see, yeah, that he was waiting for Luffy. Like, come on, where he is? I want to continue. Man. Oh, damn, poor Mirror World is so like devastated now. <laughs> These attack effects look like little bats. We just got together again. Oh, that's sweet. Another very important point of respect that Katakuri is gaining for Luffy. See, we are building them up more and more. Gradually, he is respecting Luffy more and more. Oh, that's what a strange cut, but yeah, basically Luffy answered, no, I came to defeat you, not to like beg to be your ally. That was a very interesting thought. Donuts, <laughs> man, <laughs> such a tasty name for an attack. Would 
would be interesting if Tom and Katakuri could meet. It's just a crazy thought, just a sudden thought. Even his half kind of reminds me of Mochi, to be honest. It's really interesting. Hmm. That's interesting. He is repeating it his his actual hands and stop uh, um. So first he used it without hockey and now he is imbuing his mochi with hockey because this blackness seems to indicate that they are using armament. Also with hockey. Ah, we can now even yeah see his thoughts. Like he he thinks now he's going to go right. Now he is going to go up. So I can hit him. Did he hit him between his legs? <laughs> Yeah, and Luffy would like also to try and use this observation, but he's saying to himself, I don't have a minute to focus, uh, because you have to focus to try and use it, right? And Katakuri doesn't let him to do so. He is just talking re relentlessly. Even his voice is so... wonderful. That much power is really insane. You <laughs> made it gone. Oh, that's important. Like Luffy's trying. He's trying. Whoa, this is really like a machine gun, right? That, that's crazy. Holy crap. I think for now Luffy is just evading, but he's trying, <sighs> he's trying to copy that observation. I'm waiting for my favorite donut attack. <laughs>
Your future is in darkness. That's rough. Decide. Damn, I love this dialogue. It, I, damn, it was a long time since I read the manga, so I don't remember the dialogues that well. But damn, they are really good in this fight. Oh, and I'm really loving those effects they're showing. I guess that was a cut. how he adds unstoppable to his attacks. He blocked it. <gasps> and he wants to seize this moment while his hands are busy, but oh, I didn't work out, but it's a fault that counts. Oh, 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 what do we have here? Another on Lucas. Hmm. Yeah, they caught a bit, but yeah, she was saying um, she really wants Katakuri to win this fight because otherwise he won't be perfect and she wants her older brother to be perfect. Yeah, if it was real life, he would be dead like long ago. But also I think because of his uh, rubber abilities, the damage to his internal organs is not um a strong okay so this is really escalating they already showed us flampe but i'm so bad with remembering names and she was such a trash character so yeah i hope i didn't butcher her name mm, there are a lot of cuts I wonder how often their fight was interrupted in actual episodes. <laughs> phrase why your eyes are not dying uh, that is because a luffy still has this fighting spirit in him that's why he's that's what katakuri means by his eyes are not dying they don't look like the eyes of a defeated man they look like the eyes of a confident man uh, that was very good Pride is very important to Katakuri, huh? It's because it wasn't stilled by his family. What are these songs?
That's violent. He said that he thinks Luffy is an idiot. Uh, but he has to admit that he is interested in Luffy. Mm, he really is invested in this fight. He really is curious, like, what can Luffy do? And for now, Luffy is underwhelming for him. He is not meeting his expectations. That's basically what he was doing for more than an hour already. Don't attack blindly. That's honestly, that's a very important piece of advice because I understand Luffy, I'm honestly the kind of person that would attack blindly, like in fightings or whatever, I'm just the kind of person who likes to mash all the buttons. Uh, but, yeah, it's not uh, the smartest way though. It's the way of a hot-headed person, but actually to win in battle you have to be level-headed and you have to think on your moves and also on your opponent's moves, it's an art. Yeah, that's rough. Hmm, yeah, but with humans it's harder, huh? Oh, for Luffy, hungry already. Oh, these cute animals, I feel bad for them. Look at this fox being used for training here. <laughs> and the hint an intent and a hint so basically observation helps you get this hint <gasps> and Yajina, he's having his miranda oh almost almost of attack that's some rough training oh. <laughs> he is mad now because Luffy lost his dinner hmm. it's new honestly to hear her voice These mirrors are so beautiful. And the pattern is like in Wonderland. Will he try to close his eyes? <gasps> He felt it. Oh. He is growing. Not only Rayleigh's teaching, but this fight with Katakuri helps him to grow. Yeah. 
he tries to feel his opponent, to feel his intentions. He is getting better. And Katakuri is starting to understand. But yeah, he tries, but he is not on the same level as Katakuri yet. But he's trying to get there. <gasps> See, he's closing his eyes to understand it better, to feel it better. And in his mind, he kind of sees this trajectory. Still not so frequently. Like, yeah, he can use it, but um, he can't use it. Yes. He's beginning to see the future just a bit. He's just, just getting a hang of it. He's not super good at it yet. So now Katakura thinks I have to finish him as soon as possible, so he doesn't get even better. Hmm. The drop in the vividness is used to show their thoughts. Then you really have to concentrate. And they have been fighting for so long already. Like it's really tough for Luffy. He's also a lot more tired than Katakuri right now, obviously, because uh, he took so many attacks head on. Almost worked. You are very confident. Yeah, basically, even if you win against me, you will not achieve anything. And it was getting so good. That said, ah, that's Flampe. And they didn't say her name yet, so I'm still not sure if I'm messing it up or not. Oh, is this a moment? Is this happening now? Well, it, yeah, I think. I think it works. But he's seeing his attack and yeah, he, he knows how it evaded. Uh, I have to go there. Okay, so not yet 
Um, but I guess this moment is coming. Well, still not bad. He did like 20% or so. Getting oh damn, he's spitting blood. Like his observation is evolving so quickly. Katakuri even notice it's almost as good as mine. That's it. That's the moment. She hit him. It, it doesn't matter if he saw it coming or not, he couldn't evade it, because uh, he was, their fight was, like, um, interrupted, and he, his leg was hot, and he could not evade, even if he wanted to, and all well, because of her. them and she thinks it's okay to like invade their fight katakuri is mad he's mad because he was getting so excited about this fight and now luffy was underwhelming again like what the heck why didn't he? <gasps> oh this is the best like what the heck happened why didn't he wait what what's wrong Damn, my faith. Just a moment of carelessness. He wasn't careless. He's mad because he thinks Luffy was careless. How dare you make it easier for me, Mugiwara? Damn, that's really like a boss battle. Why do you call it anemone though? Does it look like this flower? Oh wait, anemone, is this a flower or not? No, wait, anemone is some sea creature, I think. Hmm, or both. The, the music is fantastic! That's so good. Yeah, he's remembering this moment, like, what the heck happened? I remembered it just a tad differently. I 
thought it happened at the same time, like, and he evaded one attack and couldn't evade the other. But since, yeah, I didn't freshen up my memory, I can't say for sure. I was just starting to feel coil of you. How could you disappoint me? Yes! That's basically... You can see, like, all Katakuri's thoughts, all his feelings, he experiences and what drives him that's really good i love it when you can understand the character now he's remembering it again <sighs> Maybe I would be good at it. I have good imagination, I think. <laughs> and then instincts. I think Luffy's instincts uh, by themselves should be pretty good. I think he actually is a person who relies a lot of his instincts. So it should be like, his strengths. Damn, he's losing a lot of blood. But yeah, this fight just makes you respect Luffy so much more. But you can see, this is um, the leg that was hurt. And you can see how it's wobbling. Like, he can't use it normally. Yeah, it shakes. <gasps> ah, that's why I remembered it differently. Because she tried to make another shot. That's right. Like... It's, I don't remember the word, like, unspotish. I, I, I don't know how to say it. <gasps> to invade in other people's fights. Like, using cheap tricks like that. Especially since Katakuri is all about honor, it looks like. Mm, he wants it to be fair. And she is making it unfair. He feels it. He sees it, and he tries to evade it. And he did it! He did it! Oh, yes! And Katakuri is like, what did he try to evade? Why did he fall? I don't think he... Uh, he failed, obviously. Just in the act of evading, he was evading, I think, standing on that weak leg. Uh, so that's why he fell. It wasn't a coincidence that he fell at that moment. Uh, yeah, and now she thinks that he's so freaking funny that she can't hold her laughter. I mean, now Katakuri is starting to understand that something is off. Oh, this is, this is a wonderful moment. That's just why everyone, oh, I just love this memes where they show like Flampe as the worst sister and Brule as the best sister, so cute. Yes, thankfully I did not butcher her name. She really has Flampe as a name. I'm just... Her design is pretty cool and her voice and she looks cute. Uh, but her personality is trash. Yeah, everyone hates her. Um, understandably so. She's a really bad person. And she doesn't understand what honor means. What is fighting with honor? Fair fight. She just... Like... She made Katakuri mad. Ah, 
Ah, uh, now he understands. Like, what happened? And she isn't even trying to hide. Yeah. So she thinks that he will be happy, that he will praise you. Like, hey, help. Thanks for helping me in this fight. Uh, but we know, like, how seriously Katakuri was taking his this fight. How invested he was in it. How he was interested in Luffy. So, of course, he isn't going to be happy. Damn, her imagination. <laughs> I thought it was so sweet. Yes, yes. Uh, like when I first saw this sequence in manga, I thought he was going to hit his sister. Uh, but yeah, for a person who cares so much about his siblings, it would be probably out of character. Like he killed these cooks, uh, but his little sister is still a different story. It's like his family and it's very important for him. Now, like, the biggest moment in this fight is coming. Like, yeah, he was distracted because of you. Uh, do you think I would want a dishonorable victory? That's... Oh my gosh, that's why we love him. So, Flampe, you wanted the best, but you made it worse. Like... <laughs> Usually that's how it happens. People mean the best, but they make it worse. <laughs> oh, that effect with the horse was cute. And ah, uh, oh, it's scary! It's so scary. And so unexpected, man. He inflicted the same wound that he inflicted on Luffy because of Flampe. Because that wouldn't happen if she didn't interrupt. Imagine what a shock for her that was. And he's like, look at me. Look at the real me. Would you still love and respect me as your older brother? Do not interfere. Ah! You're just a little girl, like, how dare you interfere in our honorable fight? And that's where the worst part of her comes in. You might think, yeah, she likes her brother, she admires him a lot, but that's not a bad quality. But he's done with hiding his face because he found the man who respects him as he is, right? And now he's finding, gaining respect for himself. I think that's really huge character growth for him. Yeah, they admire a perfect image of him. She is not, she doesn't love him as her big brother. She just loves this illusion, the perfect image she created in her mind and that he created for everyone. That, that's why she's a terrible person. 
But how can you insult someone as strong as Katakuri? Aren't they scared at least a little? Yeah, that's where his trauma st stems from. It's crazy, like in the world of One Piece, where everyone is so different and diverse, how they can still be mean to Katakuri just because he looks like that. He doesn't even... It doesn't even look that bad, he still looks handsome! <laughs> at the same time, Luffy wanted to defeat him at full strength, but um, since Katakuri is wounded now, it can be counted as a full strength. But now, yeah, first, uh, Luffy shed his suit, and now Katakuri shed his scarf. Now he doesn't care anymore what people look, what people think about him. Man, what the heck? I don't remember this. And they're still calling him Katakuri Sama even while they're laughing at him. Aren't they scared? He just killed the cooks who saw him like that. Aren't they scared he's going to kill them too, except for his little sister? I wish he just shut up. How can you diss on this perfect man? Come on, he didn't he didn't get any less perfect. <laughs> Damn, I mean psychologically, like uh in their um, Mom, in their psychological state, I think this this fight is very important. Like Katakuri's character, really, his thoughts, his feelings, his growth. I think that's what makes this fight so much more interesting. So she she wants to kill Katakuri too. Man, she is vicious just because she he isn't as perfect as she would like to conquers The color of the Supreme King gets called here. It's a conqueror's hockey. She's calling him a weakling even though she obviously is weaker than him. this strange sound like some kind of water sound like bubbles i'm not sure where it's coming from is this one pest sound that's fair what is the meaning behind katakuri's tattoo what does it just represent <gasps> oh, now we are entering a new stage of this fight. I'm telling you, it's like honestly a boss fight. Like it's the final stage. 
But then the video is ending very soon, so I guess there really is a part three that was deleted from YouTube. <gasps> and the music again. I no longer think that you are weaker than me. <laughs> oh, that was also where I remember this. This dialogue I do remember. Like, I do respect you. I don't think you are weaker than me. Now I'm shedding this scarf. I'm the true me. And I'm going all out. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, Luffy, come on. He can do this. <gasps> oh, you can see Katakuri's expression. It is a happy expression. He's happy. <laughs> that is so sweet. He doesn't want to be disappointed. And finally, Luffy does not disappoint. <laughs> it's funny though how he just punches Luffy, but Luffy has to stretch his arm to reach his face. It's insane to think like how Luffy is growing through this fight, fighting stronger opponents really makes you stronger. Well, he just needs to drink some milk and his teeth will be okay. Whoa, I like this effect how they're showing, like how he sees it in his mind the attack that is coming. He says in power to it. Yeah, it's the end of this part. Damn. Only like a few seconds left. Wait, there is some part three. I hope it's the right one. 
let's watch the part three right now i can't wait to see the conclusion to this fight okay yeah i know the conclusion but i can't wait to see it in the anime how it looks so let's go yeah i think i think this is the right part part three i think it starts at the same point where part two was finished. Yeah, there are still a few moments that I didn't see yet, that I have yet to see. But it takes some skill to not only see and predict these attacks, but also to await him, uh, to await them, because they are very fast. Burning emoji. How do you make your mochi burning though? That's like, okay, we'll just, we'll just take it as, as is. And it's also interesting, like he started using donuts only after, like, we really have these phases, like first phase was before Miranda and after Miranda he started using donut attacks uh, and after Flampe he ditched his scarf, so it's like the new phase, so we are bound to see a new attack that I'm waiting for. And he is opening his mouth in full. It's so nice to see, honestly, just him being himself. He doesn't get this a lot. You can see how excited he is. Oh, I love him. Come on, Luffy. Live up to his expectations. Now? Wow! What is this Sailor Moon transformation? Honestly! <laughs> so here it comes. I remember how in the manga it was in the end of the chapter where he announced it and we were like, how will it look like? How will it look like? Oh, it was so exciting waiting for the reveal and seeing the reveal itself. Oh, yes, this is his Goku form. Man, Gear for Snake Man. Yes, that's how, damn, they are, the hair is so different. But the design on the eyes, I think, is very similar to that of a bounce man. Yes, his body is different and uh, the idea behind the form is different. Like the purpose of it. Honestly, when I saw, like, I think we had the name, like, Snake Man, but we didn't know how it will look like. And, yeah, I imagined it differently. Like, I wasn't disappointed. It looks very badass. But I imagined a more, like, thin, graceful form, maybe. But this is more about speed. And uh, it looks really super cool, to be honest. 
so Luffy is also entering a new phase in this battle. That's insane. <laughs> Donut Faro. I wonder, like, he probably usually doesn't go to these phases with his opponents, so he doesn't let them see his Donut form. Yeah, Moshe is sticky. You can see that now Katakuri is going all out. <laughs> no wonder, holy moly. You said this is it too many times already. Oh, you can see his muscles bulging. Oh, his face, it was so good. <gasps> oh, man. Fantastic. He really put uh, all his effort in this. How does he live without a neck though? Oh, you have good hearing, <laughs> Luffy. Like, he's still waiting for Luffy. He's still, like, come back and fight some more with me. That must be so enjoyable for Katakuri, this fight. Ah, he's hungry, man. Didn't you eat enough mochi? Eat some donuts that he is <laughs> firing at you. Damn, I'm so happy it's so fast.
He's tired and happy. Oh, he's so excited. You can see Katakuri flows so well within his body. He has full control of his body. That honestly is pretty fantastic. You can see how like fluid his motions are. That, that's so impressive. <gasps> see what I'm talking about? Man, he's done at farm. They really did their best, so, uh, well, they tried, so it doesn't look uh, silly. His head in a donut. It still does look a bit silly, but it's okay for One Piece. Golden. A little cut okay so we are going back to their fight after some other scene I guess damn but that was super hype that moment that's crazy probably was the end of the episode or something I don't know He also has a lot of resolve, but uh, that's a high drop. <sighs> you can see they both went all out and used up all their strengths. It's just, it became an even battle in the end. It started as Katakuri being so much stronger and then Luffy gaining some and then they ended up even. I think that's just fantastic. Even when he falls, he falls forward. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's good. <laughs> well, basically, 
you're also barely walking, so I just the barely one. I, I he doesn't have a watch though, probably. How many minutes do we have left? Like, will they show us? Ah, oh, damn, right when I thought when it was all over. Now he's standing again. What am I going to do? Man, it's also almost finished, man. He's still ready to fall. Okay, now my opponent is standing up again. So I'm ready to continue. That's the result. Are you gonna come back to take down Big Mom someday? That's a promise. That's a promise that's just I keep thinking about. Because will we really come back? We don't usually backtrack, but Luffy promised him I will come back. Oh, though, I'm not sure. Because Katakuri likes him a lot. <laughs> you think quite fun. Damn, this fight is so poetic. Like you are seeing so far into the future. You will become a king of pirates. Now he's lying on his back. He's so huge. That's crazy. I think he used last of his strengths to talk to Luffy. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this moment. But yeah, since Luffy is not sure, like, is he alive or not, I'm not sure, like, um, puts in uh, this hat on Katakuri. I think he wanted to honor him uh, in this way. And at this moment, it wasn't super clear, like, will Katakuri s survive? For Luffy, for himself, it wasn't clear. And he wanted to honor his opponent, uh, putting this hat on him. And also as a sign of a promise. That's also very important, because uh, you put <laughs> your hat on someone showing that you made a promise and you're going to fulfill it and he made a promise to katakuri then i'm just i'm just trying to find my words right now because i think this ending was fantastic i also there were some scenes that i would like to see like katakuri talking to brule after this i think that would be very interesting but of course it's not a fight already and the videos are about the fight only but it's so enjoyable seeing this anime it's so different from manga like how you perceive it and how it looks and how it feels and also you have music and this animation Oh, was pretty badass in my opinion like these things they hit differently i think overall then that was quite right i hope you enjoyed my reaction to these three parts of luffy versus katakuri that was very enjoyable for me to watch and i hope my reaction was interesting for you so share your thoughts of course on this fight how do you like it in the anime what are your thoughts on this promise do you think luffy is going to come back or he won't he will just defeat big mom without coming back to whole cake what are your thoughts thank you for watching that's it for now and see ya